So I draw up a first law for closed systems. Well, add the n, subtract the outs. That's the way our textbook does it. So I say, well, qn minus q out. I've got heat coming in up here. I've got heat going out down there. Um, I've got work coming in at the pump, and I've got a, hopefully a lot of work going out at the turbine. It's a closed system. So that's equal to the change in the internal energy for the system. <coughs> And we talked about early on in the course, and we probably haven't, I don't think we've mentioned it uh, again anytime recently, for a cycle, the goal of a cycle is to return the water or the steam. You want the steam to have the same properties coming out of the boiler as it has going into the turbine. Right? So let's say we start the process here. Let's say we call this one, we go around the entire process and we call this two, I want the same internal energy going into the turbine after it goes through the entire process, I want the same internal energy coming out there. And what I'll tell you is if you don't, this thing blows up. Right? <laughs> if you're operating in a cycle, if you're not operating in a cycle, one of two things happens. Either eventually you know, this will continue to increase until this thing overheats and, it, and or it blows up. Or if you lose energy out of the system, um, let's say delta U is negative, well then it, it's, you're eventually going to reach a point where it just can't operate anymore. It's going to exhaust its own internal energy. But if it's going to operate in a cycle, <coughs> this is your first law for a heat engine operating in a cycle. <clears throat> okay. Well, I think that's what I've got here on the slides here. I'm probably getting pretty close to a break point. Right. Yeah, so it's, it's setting on the slides. Closed system. It's also a cyclic system. Right. Cycle means the, the process returns, and I, I'm used to having a smart board where I can draw on this. I don't have it here, right? So I would normally just draw a, a cyclic loop. So the pressure and the volume will start here, we'll go around, and we'll come back to the same point. So if the pressure and volume is the same, that means the internal energy is going to be the same. So if we're brought for a closed system, it returns to its initial state. That means this change in the energy of the system, that's this guy, is zero. <coughs> so if that's the case, We've got QN plus work in minus Q out minus work out. That's equal to zero. And I can simply say <coughs> the common way to write this, those of you that are watching this video or not in my class, you may be saying, in, in, especially if you're learning out of another textbook, you're probably saying, wait, what? In minus out? What are you talking about? Well, it's not uncommon. We'll say, well, the net work out is equal to basically the net heat in. Okay. <clears throat> so either way it works. Just like normal. Draw your system, put a boundary around it, add the stuff that comes in, subtract the stuff that comes out, set it equal to the change. If it's a cyclic system, that change is zero. This is the basic heat engine. That's a good stopping point. We'll pick up on the next video, but I'm going to go ahead and stop here. So I'm going to push the button on my camera. It's going to make a loud pop. Sorry. And I'm going to stop. We'll pick up next time.